hello everyone in this session we will discuss the next topic is transfer function of the state model so generally you know the state model that is represented in x dot equal to ax plus bu and the output of the system that is cx plus du so from this we will find out the transfer function so from the above formulas we will write the transfer function of the system like this from the above equations above equations the formula of transfer function is like this so we will write the transfer function of the given system is the c c into so si minus a whole inverse so c is the this is the c is the this matrix and si minus a c is vector actually related to the input related to the state sorry related to the state in the for the output y okay into b plus d okay d is also a vector d is also a vector it represents the it represents the input okay this is the transfer function from the state model so state model have these two equations this equation this equation from this we can write the transfer function transfer function always in the s terms that way we will multiply with s into i i is the identity matrix and and by finding that by removing the a from here removing means by subtracting then by, by doing the inverse we will get some matrix then that matrix is multiplied with v after that multiplied with c by adding the d matrix we will get the transfer function we will get the transfer function and from this we can extend the this inverse matrix the extension is like this c generally any inverse matrix is like this adjacent by determinant adjacent of si minus a by determinant of si minus a so adjacent of ad adjacent of this matrix by determinant of this matrix with b plus d b plus d so here what this si minus a represents so generally if you are simplify this the denominator term is the si minus a okay so we can write in this form numerator and denominator form so here in transfer function what do represents the denominator denominator is the characteristic equation that represents the poles so numerator by denominator what the denominator represents always it is the characteristic equation so therefore by denominator is equal to 0 here the denominator is the this term by equating 0 we will get the characteristic equation characteristic equation so by solving these characteristic equations generally what we will get it will get the poles of the system and we will get the poles or the another name is the roots and the another name is the eigenvalues so we will get the eigenvalues so poles roots eigenvalues all are the same things these all are the same things okay so this is the procedure whenever the system state model is given from this how to find out the transfer function from that how to find out the characteristic equation by characteristic the equation we will find out the poles roots and eigenvalues next we will discuss one problem regarding regarding find the transfer function from the he given x dot equal ax y equal to cx model so here you know the formula before that write down the given data so which is given here the data is like this so from this solution what is represent this represents the a matrix so that a matrix is minus 2 minus 3 and 4 2 and what about b matrix b matrix is the 3 5 and what about c matrix c matrix is the 1 1 so what is the transfer function formula so transfer function is c into 
एस आई माइनस ए होल इनवर्स इन टू बी प्लस डी सो इन दिस फर्स्ट यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द एस आई माइनस ए सो वॉट इट रिप्रेजेंट एस आई माइनस ए इज नथिंग बट सो एस जीरो जीरो एस माइनस ए वट इज दियर माइनस टू माइनस थ्री फोर टू सो बाई डूइंग दिस वॉट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट एस माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू वी विल गेट एस प्लस टू एंड आफ्टर दैट जीरो माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू थ्री जीरो माइनस ऑफ फोर वी विल गेट माइनस फोर एस माइनस टू वी विल गेट द एस माइनस टू हियर s minus 2 here okay so this is the formula and this is the si minus a next we will find out adjoint of si minus a how we will find out the adjoint of s minus si minus a adjoint is nothing but this diagonal element should be extended first extend this and add negative signs to these elements so if you ex if you exchange this the first element is become si minus 2 and it will become negative sign and it will become minus and it will become the s plus 2 and this is the adjoint of the si minus a uh, what about determinant of si minus a and so determinant of si minus a is like this so we will find out here the determinant of si minus a rate of si minus a like this or we can write like this also si minus a this represents the debt so how can we find out the debt that means this element minus this element s plus 2 into so that will be right like this so here s plus 2 into s minus 2 minus and minus 3 into minus 4 minus 3 into minus 4 so by solving this we will get s square minus 2s plus 2s minus 4 and plus this is 12 nothing but the minus 12 okay so here plus 12 minus 12 should be cancelled finally we will get so this is plus 12 actually minus into plus finally we will get s square plus e i is the determinant of s okay so now determinant of s is completed what we need to find out we need to find out we will write transfer function directly the transfer function is so first in you have to write c c is 1 comma 1 so this is the 1 comma 1 next what is si minus a whole inverse so si minus a is adjacent by determinant so you know the adjacent value is you know the adjacent adjacent value is like this this is the determinant 1 by s square plus a i and what is the adjacent adjacent matrix is s minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 s plus 2 s minus 2 minus 3 and 4 s plus 2 4 s plus 2 and what about remaining what is the d matrix d matrix is so so there is no d matrix what about b b is 3 comma 5 so you should write the 3 comma 5 we should write the 3 comma 5 so we will solve this so just do the multiplying multiply both these two what we will get we will get this is 1 comma 1 and this is the 1 by s square plus c i and the multiplication is like this s minus 2 into this element into this min this element s minus 2 we will write here s minus 2 into 3 and minus plus 3 into 5 this is the first element what about this element 4 into 3 plus s plus 2 into 5 yes so by this we will solve 1 comma 1 and 1 by s square plus e i and after that we will get 2s minus 6 plus 15 by 12 plus 5s plus 10. 5s plus 10. Yes, yes. Okay. So not 2s. This is a 3s actually. We are mistaken here because 3 into s 3s. So again 
we will solve this so we will we will find out this like this that is 1 comma 1 equal to 1 by s square plus 8 and 3s 3s plus 9 the upper is 3s plus 9 what about below this is 5s plus 22 5s plus 22 yeah 5s plus 22 okay what we will get 3s minus 21 minus 15 is there there is a minus 15 so it is missing actually minus 15 this is so this is the minus 15 so this is the 3s minus 21 yeah so finally multiply this matrix with the this matrix you will get you will get like this 1 by s square plus c eight into so this is 3s minus 21 plus 5s plus 12 5s plus 12 so we will get 3s plus 5s we will have the eight s and minus 21 plus and what will have 5s plus 12 i write here not 12 this is 22 we are mistaken here right so this is the 22 so 8s plus 1 this is the 8s plus 1 and what about this 1 by s square plus 8 so this is the finally we are getting the transfer function here okay so what is the transfer function so we are getting transfer function is 8s plus 1 by s square plus 8 8s plus 1 by s square plus 8 so this is the transfer function so what is the characteristic equation characteristic equation equal s square plus 8 equal to 0 okay from this how can we find out the poles s square equal to minus 8 and from this s square equal to uh, we can write j square 8 so from this s equal to plus j root 8 and minus j root 8 plus j root 8 and minus j root 8 we have the two poles the poles is like this how the poles arrangement the poles arrangement is in the s plane this is the plus j root 8 maybe this is the minus j root 8 this is conditionally stable system right and so this is the procedure to do whenever he is given the transfer function in state model so we this is the procedure to find out the transfer function for the state model okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you